Hello everyone, it's Laura Lencioni bringing you five minutes on Argento Acres. Today is July 28th, 2021. And as you can see, it is a jungle in here. It's a little bit overgrown. Um, obviously I kind of, the pruning has gotten away from me in favor of harvesting. And um, as it turns out, also now pest control. Oh, hey, there's a hummingbird. That is not one of the pests. Where'd it go? I hope I caught that on camera. I couldn't tell. Anyway, um, so you could see all the little white butterflies. And there are tomato worms on my uh, tomatoes. Um, and I'm finding that as they're ripening, a lot of my tomatoes are getting attacked. And, um, and as they get bigger, that'll get worse and worse. So I am going to go ahead and spray BT throughout the hoop house. Um, because I'm finding quite a lot of them and I need to get on top of it. I was trying to avoid doing a spraying BT throughout the entire hoop house, but um, I think it's warranted at this point. Um, and then I'm gonna uh, have a rotating task of uh, bug hunting. So I'm gonna send the, uh, Mac and, and Victor and maybe Joey through here at night with a black light and hunt for the tomato worms and then bring them over to my brother's uh, chickens. My brother and sister-in-law have chickens and they would love those. And also some of the tomatoes that are, you know, you had to pick that bad fruit and get it out of there and keep things as clean as possible. But, um, you know, these are all things I'd like to be doing a better job of. Aha! There's Victor back from Rotten Tomato Duty. Rotten tomatoes for compost and other veggies. Well, other veggies besides tomatoes. Yeah. Um, so, Victor, how do you feel about picking tomatoes this morning? Uh, it's, it's fun. There's like a surprising amount of tomatoes. You have yeah. have a couple of varieties. Have you tasted any yet? I have not. I still got to do that. I have some for lunch. All right, good. <laughs> and, um, and also, um, there is a very special variety that we are going to try today. Mm -hmm. It is called Victor. Oh, nice. I did not developed this although I would name a tomato Victor if I developed one this one was already developed by somebody else and I bought the seeds and we are having Victor tomatoes we're nice. going to try those for the first time awesome. so um yeah and also I'm just uh, explaining to our people what we have here and also that we have pest issues that we're dealing with and how you're going to go on bug patrol to catch them and bring them to the chickens um we had cucumbers for the first time today, at least like enough to do a couple of containers to sell, which was nice. Um, there's a lot of cucumbers that are not quite there. Like that one will be perfect tomorrow. And there's a lot like that on there. Um, and we got our sweet potatoes. Our, I still have a few onions left to harvest. Um, there's still some in there, but mostly it's a carpet of sweet potato right now. Sweet potato and horsetail, which it's there's a lot in there but I think it's uh, easy to pull and I think it's keeping some of the other weeds down so I'm not gonna make a huge effort to pull all the horsetail um, unless it seems like it's getting in the way of the sweet potatoes um, other than that the peppers are probably some of the peppers are just at their peak and some of the peppers are past their peak I'm hoping for a second flush of um, some of these hot peppers um, I think some of the sweet peppers are finally, some of the sweet peppers down at the end are just kind of coming into their own there. Um, oh, I just realized that the drip tape is not on some of these ginseng plants. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see how these ginseng plants come through at the end of the season. Um. That's my espazote. I think that's past its prime for using it. I can't tell. I've still been using it. It still tastes good. It's good in like bean and taco meat dishes. My beans are doing nice. I didn't really plant enough to sell 
uh, more than a couple of containers every now and then, but I've been eating beans. My Swiss chard. I got a lot of bugs. I'm not going to lie. I'm having to do some, uh, do some damage control here. Um, I think like my cauliflower is it's kind of past its prime. I got some cauliflower off of this. Enough to eat myself. But I think these plants, this is ready to harvest. My nice um, cabbages for making sauerkraut. That's what I'm going to do with them. So overall, my collards remain doing well as long as I can keep the cabbage moths at bay. My cardoons are ready to harvest. And my okra is close. I got some flower buds on there. So that's going to be Sometime this week, I'll have okra. Anyway, that's been five minutes on Argento Acres. Hope you enjoyed my little hoop house tour. Hope to see you on the farm. We got two more weeks of blueberry picking. Although by the time this is posted, it's probably not going to be that season anymore. But it is true. We have two more weeks. And I do hope people come out because the blueberries are amazing. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.